Hi everyone, Jess here. I have just finished my day of gardening. Um, since COVID, my life has taken a bit of a turn in what I do for employment every day. And I thought I would show you a little bit. Um, so I've been gardening today, I just said that. Um, but anyway, my back is a little bit sore because all day I've been hunched over like this and weeding and pulling things out. And it got me thinking that maybe that's something people might be interested in. Um, and being where I am in the world at the moment, I am where there's a bit of an older population. So the more I've been thinking about how to make yoga accessible. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning, James and Michael. Thank you for joining. So I'm just gonna run through a very short practice. I'll talk through some of the shapes I'm doing um, just to yeah, ease some tension. A lot through my hips and my back is, is quite sore from leaning over um, all day. So if you've been in the garden today or you are someone that gardens or you know someone that gardens uh, or if you're just like, I get a sore back because I've been watching Netflix all day and I've been pretty poor posture, um, this also might be helpful for you. So I'm going to come and come to a seat. I don't have any props with me today but you can maybe place a blanket or a pillow underneath your hips if you'd like. And if you're joining in, thank you for watching. You can come to a cross-legged seat and maybe just take the hands to the knees or to the thighs, maybe just wherever they're resting. And I'm going to close my eyes for a few moments and just let myself settle in. If you're following along, you can do the same. I'll keep the eyes open, maybe a soft gaze somewhere. And I'm just going to start to focus on my breath coming in and out. And taking a quick body scan, checking in how I'm feeling. And maybe again, you're doing the same. A little check in how your day's been. Whether that's this afternoon or this morning, whatever time of day it is for you. And if you'd like to join in, we're taking one nice cleansing breath in together through the nose. And softly out the mouth. And then sliding the hands down to take hold of the knees and keeping soft through the elbows, just a little bit of spinal warm up here. So taking a breath in and start to open through the chest, opening through the throat, looking up a little. And then as you breathe out, start to round through the back a little more, let the neck hang heavy. Breath in, starts to roll you forwards and open. And then breath out, curling back in, concaving through the belly. Just a little to give the spine some movement here. After it's maybe been stuck in one shape all day. And again, gentle movement to check in with how you're feeling. Doing one final round, opening through the heart space. And then breathing out, concaving the, through the belly. And then coming all the way back up. And gently taking your right ear to the right side. Maybe the right arm starts to come over. Right hand reaches for the side of the neck, just beneath the left ear. You can just hold your head here for a moment. And then releasing that gently, taking that arm back down. Left ear comes towards left shoulder. And then either staying here again, the left arm can reach up this time. And just take a little hold, give your arm somewhere to rest. And then starting to come all the way down. And then starting to take some 
movements here. So like your hands are gonna stay glued to your knees and start to take some little circles through the chest here. And then you might start to take them a little bigger. Maybe a bend comes through the elbows. Again, maybe the eyes are closed here, listening internally to what your body is telling you, where to move, what to do. And if it's not telling you anything, simply moving in a way that feels good for you. And then starting to take the circles in the opposite direction. It's coming all the way around, opposite way. Noticing that maybe this side might feel quite different. The pace might be slightly different. And then as you're ready, coming back to the center. And I'm just gonna take a little scoot back to take a little forward fold here. So keeping the legs crossed as they are. And then the hands can come out in front, rising to the fingertips first and taking a gentle breath in. And as you breathe out, you might start to walk the hands a little further forwards. I'm coming to a place that feels comfortable for you. And because my back is quite warm from a fair bit of movement today, I'm gonna to start to walk my hands a little further forward and bow my head here for a moment. Taking two more breaths wherever you are, you might change the position of your hands. Maybe really direct the breath into the back. And then taking a look towards the hands and starting to rise up onto the fingertips a little more. And wherever you are, starting to take the hands for a little walk over towards the right side. So a little stretch here again. You can walk the hands a little further forward. Keep the shoulders nice and soft. And then rising up again to the fingertips, they're going to walk back towards the middle and then over to the left. And then maybe they walk further as you maybe soften a little more into the shape. And then walking the hands back and all the way back through the center. And then as you arrive, start to lift the arms to the sky. Palms can be facing one another, soft through the shoulders. And holding them here. And then on your next exhale, start to bend through the elbows, cactusing the arms, opening up through the heart space a little more. Breathing in, lifting the arms. And breath out, opening through the chest. Doing this two more times, lifting and opening. Moving with your breath. One last time, reaching high and opening through the heart space and holding here. Maybe give the shoulders a little roll back. And then the arms will lift back to the center, reaching and taking a twist over to the right side. Left hand in front, maybe looking to the side of your yoga mat or even behind you, just seeing how your neck feels. And then reaching back to the center, twisting over to the left side this time. Right hand in front, left hand behind. And then coming back all the way to center. And then hands are gonna come down to your mat, rising over onto your hands and your knees, coming to a tabletop shape. So fingers spreading nice and wide, knees can settle underneath the hips. And then from here, taking a little wag of your tail. So you might rock from side to side. 
Again, you can let your body tell you where it would like to go here, or you can just simply keep this rocking motion going, noticing how that feels. Checking in with the knees and the wrists. And then finding your way back to center. And like we did in the seated position, a couple of cat-cow movements. So breath in, lowers the belly, chest starts to open. And breath out, arching through the back, tucking chin into chest. Breathing in, lowering down, looking forwards. And breath out, arching away. One last time, opening. And a big breath out as you exhale. And then coming back to the center. Palms are gonna take a little bit of a further step forward here. So maybe another palm print forwards to widen through your stance a little. Knees can stay where they are, but again, start to circle through the hips. But this time, rolling all the way back down and around. The circles might start quite small. They might start to get bigger. Again, maybe the shoulders come into it a little more. As the whole spine starts to move, the neck, the head. And then moving opposite direction to whichever way you started. Maybe the circle starts small again before starting to get a little bigger. And if you're like me, you might hear a few little snap crackles of the bones, of the joints. And then coming back to you, center and coming all the way down to lie on your tummy. I'm taking the feet out long behind you. I know you probably can't see my feet here. If I duck my head, you might be able to. <laughs> Pressing in through the tops of the feet. I'm taking the hands off the mat and onto the floor beside you. Or if you're not on a mat, they might just be on the floor, wherever they are. But taking them a little wider so your elbows will be pointing towards the sky. And really pressing the feet into the floor here, pressing through the fingertips. And taking a breath in, gently start to press into the fingers and lifting through the chest, opening up to a place that feels comfortable. And then folding back down. Breath in, lifts. And breath out, folds. And this time as you inhale, lifting through the chest and starting to bend through the right shoulder, starting to look over the left. Breathing in back to center, opposite side, left elbow starts to lower as you look over the right. Once more back to the middle. And again, over, looking to the left, to the center. And one last time, over to the right. As you come all the way back up and then rolling back down. Hands are going to come underneath the shoulders, begin to tuck the toes behind you. Maybe rising to the knees first before pressing your way back to a downward facing dog. So pressing the hips up and away. And a little bit of movement here, bending through the knees. Feeling into the toes. And then pausing here for a breath, pressing through the fingers, soft through the wrists, weight coming back into the heels. One big breath in, and big breath out. And then taking a look towards the hands, and starting to walk your way all the way to the top of your mat and towards your hands. 
I'm just checking you can all still see me there, lovely. Thank you to everyone who's just joined in. If you're taking in the flow, we're just tuning in. And then coming to a wide forward fold. So feet can be about hip distance apart here or a little wider. Imagining two fists, so making sure they're at least that amount wide or even a little wider. And taking a nice bend into the knees here. So almost at the tummy, you can feel like it can come down onto the thighs. Hands are coming to the floor. Left fingertips are going to stay down. A nice bend in the left knee as the right leg starts to straighten and the right arm begins to open to the sky. Starting to circle that right arm down. Right fingertip tips touch down, right knee bends, left side of the body starts to straighten. Circling down, doing this once more, eye the side, left knee bends, right arm opens. Rotating that arm all the way down and around as you come over to the left side, one last time. And then hanging out here in a forward fold, maybe grabbing hold of the elbows and coming into a ragdoll shape. Maybe a sway from side to side. And then letting go of the elbows, hands are coming back down. And gently starting to rise up onto the toes on the right foot as you start to pick that foot up and extending it nice and long behind you before gently touching it down and then lowering down the right knee untucking toes and then bringing the hands up to the hips maybe walking the left foot a little wider here lifting up through the chest And then maybe staying here or starting to lift the arms to the sky. And then like we did in that seated shape, taking a breath, lifting the chest a little higher. And as you exhale, start to cactus those arms. Breathing in, lifting. Breathing out, opening up. Once more. And holding here. And then maybe from here the hands come behind you. You might interlace the fingers or again reach to grab hold of the elbows. Opening through the chest. And then maybe a gentle fold forward here. Hooking the left shoulder around that left knee. Strong through the front leg. And then wherever you are releasing the hands. Hands come to frame the front foot. Right hand stays down as the left arm begins to open. Simple twist. Before circling that arm all the way down, begin to tuck the toes. Lifting through that back knee as you come all the way forward to your forward fold. And taking a few moments here to maybe sway again. Rock through the feet. Have a drink of water, adjust your yoga pants, and then we'll come to the opposite side as you're ready. So hands come to the floor, rising to the toes on the left foot, picking it up and then extending that leg all the way back before touching down, lower down left knee this time, untuck toes, rising to your low lunge. Maybe widening through the right foot a little more. Lifting through the chest. Knowing you're welcome to stay here. Or you can start to lift the arms to the sky. And taking a breath in. Breath out, opening up through the arms. Breathing in, lifting and opening on your exhale last time reaching and opening 
from here again reaching behind you interlacing fingers or catching hold of the elbows as you start to draw the chest forward a little opening through the throat before starting to fold your way down half humble warrior I'm holding here for three two one and then releasing the hands coming to frame the front foot left hand stays down right arm opens as you circle down that top arm starting to tuck the toes and then this time stepping back to a plank shape picking up that right foot coming all the way back and then lowering your way down to the mat maybe lowering down to the knees first and then down to the belly and we're going to come over onto our back so i'm going to roll this way so that you can still hear me and see me i hope yes <laughs> and one last final twist for our back so hugging through the right knee drawing it all the way in as you extend the left leg out long flexing up through the toes maybe a little point and flex maybe even some circles through the ankles and then taking this into your twist so left hand takes hold of right knee right arm can come into a T or a cactus shape and as you start to draw it across the body to however far feels comfortable and holding here for three breaths of your choosing I'm just going to adjust myself a little more so I can twist a little deeper and then coming back through the center as you are ready hugging that right knee all the way in and hamstring stretch extending that right foot up to the sky interlacing hands behind the right thigh flexing through that heel one nice long line of energy before taking that knee all the way down and then coming to the opposite side left knee comes into the chest giving yourself a nice big squeeze as the right leg extends long flexing through the heels as you take them for a little roll from side to side or a point and flex and then turning this into your twist right hand now takes that left knee across the body this left arm comes to a T or a cactus shape yeah, maybe readjusting yourself if you're somewhere where you're a little bit limited with room and then coming back to the center as you're ready and final stretch extending that left leg to the sky as you interlace the fingers behind you behind the thigh sorry pressing through that heel and then returning that knee that foot all the way down and coming into your resting shape if you do have any pain in your lower back maybe taking the feet a little wider than the hips and letting the knees knock into one another And maybe the hands come to rest on the belly and staying here for about five breaths and be in silence for a few moments before you'll hear me come back into the space
And as you start to wiggle through the fingers and toes, maybe a nice big stretch with the arms overhead. We're going to be reaching the feet long. I'm taking this moment to take one last nourishing stretch for your body. And releasing. As you find your way up to a seat. Maybe rolling to one side. And then coming all the way up. And finishing where we started in that seat. A gentle body scan once again, noticing how you're feeling. If anything has or hasn't changed. And the hands can come to the heart space to touch together in Anjali Mudra. Taking this moment to be grateful for yourself, your practice, your wonderful body, the space and the lands on which we practice. Namaste. Look at me, I'm all over the shop, my hair's all. <laughs> um, thank you for joining in. Um, this little live practice. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but my live hasn't been working on Instagram. So here I am. Now it's back. You'll see a bit more of me, I hope. Um, if this is our first time practicing together, then thank you for joining in. Um, that little sequence was, yeah, a little bit for if you have been out in the garden or even sitting at a computer, anything where your back might be a little bit more hunched um, that's how much has changed for me in the past few months where <laughs> instead of sitting at a computer all day, I've been sitting in a garden, which has been very nourishing for me. Um, so I hope if that's your case that you've been able to use that as a way to loosen up a little bit and you hopefully feel a little better. Um, I hope to have a video about this coming up on my YouTube channel um, very soon. So please stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, you can visit all of my channels uh, via visiting my website, plantpoweredyoga.com. Um, there's lots of videos and podcast is up. Um, there's a new anchoring meditation up today that you might want to try as well. Uh, if not, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. Um, lovely to see a few familiar faces popping up in the little sidebar over here. So um, I will see you all again very soon. I'm sure have a wonderful rest of your day, wherever you might be. And... Have a wonderful rest of your week. All right, bye.